here, uh, another interesting feature is a, a glue-like uh, material. See? Here. This white stuff here. Here. So... As they, uh, uh, it's, uh, it seems that these stone plates have been Fixed, how do you say? Fixed or glued? Glued, yeah. Uh, it seems that these uh, stone plates have been glued upon on the stone blocks. And that there was another layer, maybe on top of these, or is it just extra glue hanging around? Do you think? I th it could be extra glue hanging around, or it could be that the whole area that is now exposed was once a, a white uh, walkway. Oh, you mean like a beautiful flat stone? Flat, like we have today in our modern houses, exactly. Uh -huh. And could it have been something beautiful like marble or some gorgeous yes, stone like that? Yes, exactly, yes. Because yes. it seems like the glues on, on the top ridges of all these, like that's yes. where it would have hit the next stone. Yeah, exactly. So like the pyramid, the Great Pyramid in Egypt, all that facing was taken off the yeah, beautiful... Yeah, actually the, the, the outer, uh, the casing stones of the Pyramid of Khufu and the other pyramids uh, was very, very vivid, brilliant, and probably, probably they were seen from miles away, yeah, under the sunshine. So some culture after this one might have come along and said, hey, well, let's take these beautiful stones. Everything and, is possible, but yeah. we have no evidence for that, you know. Well, except for the glue. <laughs> yeah, except for the glue. But you know, it is a revolutionary discovery because uh, we are finding here in a thousands of years old culture that build pyramids, the knowledge of uh, mixing natural materials together and making construction materials which is very, very unusual and almost impossible to, to, to believe in, in, in a period like, like that. We're talking about 10,000 BC, you know? Yeah, can you see how perfectly flat, how nice this rectangular block is made? With another plate laid above, another plate laid above, and the plates laid above are, are not flat on the top. No. It's interesting. There's huh? some pattern. Actually, it could be now uh, some geologists uh, tell that those are, that these are ripple marks, a geological feature. But uh, the anomaly of the stone blocks below and the thin stone plates placed above with in between uh, the glue suggests that this is artificial and not a geological future you know feature feature yes sorry and but isn't it interesting how like you say it's they have the the, the stones that are smooth on the on the top They're very smooth on the underneath top. the other ones because in modern day we would probably reverse that yeah well and, it depends, uh, because uh, um, it depends what material you have at disposal. It depends what you want to obtain with such type of building technique. And uh, it depends what the purpose of this structure was in origin. We don't know yet. So all these elements should give uh, as some idea of the purpose of this structure, of this structure. But so far we don't know and we have to figure this out. Some archaeologists suggested that maybe the structure was a huge water collector. And, uh, but obviously, but uh, there are so many anomalies here which cannot be uh, Geological in origin that uh, uh, needs some time to figure all this out, you know. 
but clearly they wanted the textured surface on the top because they could have put the smooth surface rocks on the top if they wanted. Yeah. So it's interesting that they chose the textured rock on the top. Well, you know, the texture can be uh, intentional and the texture can be also uh, due to the exposure to, 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 to weathering, to time. Because we have similar examples in, uh, I found very, very almost identical examples in uh, in Italy, where we have smooth stone blocks below, where we have stone plates on laid above, glued on the stone blocks, and the surface of uh, those blocks uh, is very similar to this one. It's like wave-like, it is consumed, broken, damaged. And when you insert the pictures in this video footage, uh, you will clearly see that we have the identical features here in this excavation site. So this is nothing strange, actually. Do you find the glue um, on, the, on the other one you're talking about? Like, do you find this kind of glue on the ripples as well? On the yes, other? I think this is a kind of glue, but of, the, of course these ripples uh, could be the result of natural, uh, of natural elements due to weathering. Uh, it could be the result of uh, uh, flowing water. And on the other site you mentioned uh, in Italy, did you find any glue on these, any kind of glue-like? Yes, of course. We have the glue between, like this, bet uh, between the plates placed upon the stone blocks. And how about on top of the... They are like those. Like, like pieces, these. pieces like where the glue is on top? Yes, you can see also sticking out on the side the glue. Hmm. You see the stone block and you see the glue not only below, the, between the stone plate and the... Uh, and the stone block, but you can also see the glue coming out uh, from the sides, from the top. So we have almost uh, uh, identical features here. And that's why I believe that this is not a natural feature, but an artificial, man-made section. <laughs>